Hey man, off subject real quick, man. Before I tell y'all who I am or any of that, before we talk about these exotic bullies or any of that, man, if you get into vlogging, YouTubing, do not go spending all that money on them expensive cameras like me. Don't be me, don't be this guy. It's not worth it. Your phone, my phone show way better high quality videos than any expensive camera I've ever bought. All right, let's get to it. All right, man, y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Tate, man. And, uh, Money Mike got another pedestrian test today, but before I get into any of that, I want to talk to y'all for a quick little second. Don't skip this part, I'm telling you. It's informational. But, um, informational and educational, you hear me? Hey, but look, pedestrian test. I had somebody uh, get in my um, DM on my social media. If you're not following me, go ahead and do that right now. Excuse me for not looking at the camera because I'm driving and um, I got to really pay attention to the road, but I'm on the way to get some dog food because I ran out. And I want to just tell y'all about this before I get really all the way into the video. But anyway, uh, a pedestrian test. For the people that don't know what that is, because somebody got in my DM and they wanted me to, you know, he said uh, in a video, he said I had dope content but I should have went into detail about what a progesterone test is. He said he know what it is, but he did. He told me there's a lot of people out here that don't. I said, you know what, bro? I, I appreciate that type of feedback. So, you know, if it's something in my videos that y'all want, want um, y'all suggest, please send it to me. You know what I mean? I, I take all the criticism in a good way. A progesterone test. What that test does is when your female come in heat, it basically lets you know when is the best time to breed her. So when it's, it's basically uh, letting you know how she ovulating, you know, how is she ovulating well, you know, I mean, I mean, yeah, willing to break it all the way down raw and uncut, it basically lets you know the best time to breed her. And you also got a reverse progesterone test. That's let you know when the best time to, um, for her to give birth, whether you're doing a C-section or if you're doing, excuse me, at home birth, it lets you know around what time when them puppies getting ready to come. Back to a progesterone test. How many do she have? Every dog is different. You can go, you can get a progesterone test and, and and your dog might have four. And then your friend dog might only have one and it's time to give birth, it's time to breed her already. So that part you can't control. That's all on how to, that's all on the female. But uh, yeah, uh, Money Maya do for another progesterone test. Today her numbers was at a four point, 4.04 so I'm looking I don't I don't know how her numbers gonna spike I don't know how far up they gonna go you know what I mean so this will pretty much give you an idea of when the, the best time to or get ready to breed her you know what I mean and, and it goes especially for like guys who get semen shipped in the gesture on test to be your best friend but um yeah, last time I tested Money Mike, her, uh, her her numbers was a 4.04, and her sister, which was Miss Piggy, which was the dog in my video, um, in my last video, if you didn't watch that, go watch that, and this video make a whole lot of sense. But her, she was only at like a point something. I know she wasn't even in like solid numbers yet, but that just goes to show you that uh, it really don't matter the age or, you know, it just really matter how to, it really matters off the female. And, uh, but yeah, man, let's get to it, man. Let me get Money by over here, test it. And I'm going to let you know what her numbers is and who we bring her to. Let's get it. Victor, Teal Bag. This is my best friend in my camp, y'all. I don't feed no raw diet. Not saying nothing wrong with it, but for anybody who's inquiring, this is what I feed my dogs. Even the puppies. Like, even they mush and everything from when they born. This is it. The Teal Bag, Victor. It's the first time I ever came up here this late, y'all. I kind of got scared. I'm like, oh man, I done missed my pedestrian. Like, it's dark in there, but I just checked the door. It's actually open, y'all. But like, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Hello. Here for pedestrian. Pedestrian test? What's your name? Dante. Dante. Hey. 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 Hey
It looked kind of dark with them tinted windows. I, was, I thought y'all was closed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, guess, I guess you gotta take a day off, huh? <laughs> Are we gonna record? Yeah, it's gonna record. Um, yeah, put a on with this. Hey, mommy. Alright. She didn't like this last time. What's up, man? Last time if you watched my last video, then you know uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and text that number and uh, they gonna send me back her results. But like I stated earlier, her numbers was at a 4.04 and you wanna breed them 24 hours after you they numbers go to an 18. And uh, like I said earlier, you can't really say when they gonna get that high or how fast or slow it's gonna move. But um, you just gotta, if they tell you to come back in two days, then go back in two days. But uh, yeah, man, uh, we breed. We actually breed her to a dog that's in Denver, Colorado. I did an early lock in on this dog. He's just he's sensei blood, sensei and paintball blood. And if you don't know about them dogs, go ahead and take a little time and look them up, especially if you want to get into the dog game because you want to educate yourself. Hey, girl, come on, girl. You want to you want you want to educate yourself about these dogs when you're getting involved in them. But um, yeah, he out in Denver, Colorado. Um, Meech Castro, I think his kennel, I ain't really, I gotta double check, but I think he's constantly killing kennels. He just actually dropped a litter of eight off a bait female and a, and a, and a doughboy. So, uh, do, you see how small Money my is. You see how small she is. Doughboy supposedly be smaller than her. You know, I know a lot of, uh, a lot of people get online and say how small and tall and short and big they dogs is. I mean, you get in person, they be different. But from what I've been told and from his videos, like he do good business, he send me videos and pictures. The dog really look as small as he's saying she is. But we will find out when we see him in person. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, we taking Money Maya to Denver, Colorado for her breed. We going to Denver with this one, man. So this is going to be a good, this is going to be an um, exciting journey. This will be my first out-of-state breed, and should I say. Everybody that's I bred with, they either, the semen either got flu here or whatever. But this would be my first out of state breed. So we're going to go to Colorado, bring us some different blood to Dallas. Because uh, I did an early lock in before he was even ready. That's another thing early lock ins, y'all. If y'all see somebody doing an early lock in, sometimes take advantage of it. I didn't actually missed out on a few deals I wish I would have took. Hey, girl. I wish I would have took that I didn't, but I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't wait on him. Because I'm breeding small exotic micros and then she's small so a dog smaller than her man i can't help but to breed to her man but um yeah we're gonna breed to him in fact let me roll a few clips that i do got a dope boy just so y'all can see what i'm uh which way i'm headed so yeah let me go ahead and play them clips now
just like that just like that y'all perfect example of what i explained to y'all earlier about progesterone tests i got the results back and you know what i'm not even gonna tell y'all what they is i just want y'all to see for y'all this is money maya right here phone is blue. she is at uh it's at the top i don't know if y'all can really see it like that but it says 26.06 and what that see say right there she's ready to breed i remind y'all i just told y'all the stud i'm taking to taking her to is in denver colorado so you know what that means we don't got time to ship it in i don't got time to plan nothing out i gotta go man let's go let's go to denver okay bye